Assalamu alaikum. Dear student, this is your Sakib sir. Welcome to my class. And uh, I hope all of you are very good, very healthy. And uh, you know that today we are going to start, um, already we started in last class and um, we will continue our exercise 3. Okay? And uh, you know, yesterday at the evening, you go to your result of all subjects and of course mathematics also and uh, if you want I'm not telling you just you want to but if you want you can uh, just take your snapshot and uh, uh, and give the pictures I will try to solve what's your problems what your confusion actually sometimes you don't get your expected marks maybe you're think, uh, thinking like that you answered very well but uh, you don't get appropriate marks in there okay so you can take a, um, a screenshot and you can upload there and I'll try to solve it if you want if you don't want I can go to directly to the exercise okay so just write in the comment box my sound quality video quality everything is okay or not or um, internet connections quality everything is okay or not please write your comments okay error while loading why it is error Walaikum salam, but why it is error loading? Mm -hmm. 70 out of 70. I know that Zarif Samin B5, right? And uh, Zarif also from B4, 70 out of 70. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, my dear student who got 70 out of 70 in mathematics really really very very um, heartfelt congratulations to you all of you okay who got 66 and uh, some some of you uh, very very good student very brilliant student you got 66 um, it is really unfortunate because you made a mistakes just only one problem okay so write your comments here Okay, Walaikum Asalaam. Apni Mete Koto Pechen. Sir, Apni Mete Koto Pechen. What does it mean? <laughs> Sir, please solve that math, please. I got many answers. Which one? 4.71, 3.316. Which math? Okay, the problem which I uploaded. Okay, I will solve it later. Uh, this, this, this is, that math is not related to our class, okay? Chameli Shorkar. Clear, sir. Very good. Mete koto paiso, acha. Walaikum salam. Okay, Anan, Arif al Chari, Anan, Sar, Felkora, A plus Paisa. That's really good, Anan. Okay, but behave yourself in the class, okay, all the time. You got a good marks, it's okay. Okay. Amina Akhtar Koto Paiso, Acha Sir Mathe 69 Paisi, who? 69, really? If you got 69, uh, I think you should got 70. 69, um, no, no student gets 69, I think. Ashraful Mohammed Nozrul, you got 69, I, I don't think so. 69, because I have, right now I can see it. Assalamu alaikum sir. Okay, so what should I start? No one uploaded any kinds of problems, so directly I am going to our exercise, okay? So let's start. I think chapter 3 is very easy, right? Very easy chapter and uh, most of you, you did your homeworks very well. Thank you so much and congratulations. 
and some of you did very very well wonderfully well your handwriting is also very nice really good okay so let's start from number 11 who couldn't do it or who uh, facing any problems there okay so let's start exercise three okay measurement Okay, exercise three, okay? Number 11, we will try to solve 11 to 22 at least. Okay, here around um, 11 problem. So I don't know how many problems I can solve. So let's start. Length of a rectangular plot is three times of its breadth. Okay, so give a look at that, these kinds of a plot we have given a rectangular plot okay so we are just letting let breadth or breadth of uh, breadth of the plot is uh, x meter okay and length of the plot equals 3 times of x meter okay so here is x here is 3 times of x okay so what is the perimeter here we have given a walk around the plot makes 1 kilometer so someone start okay someone start his walking from here okay this way and um, for come that point and this point and uh, again same points okay so all together it is one kilometer so it must be perimeter we have to understand it is perimeter okay so we need to find out perimeter so perimeter of the plot or you can write rectangular plot see it's also okay so 2 into x plus 3x or 2 into 3x plus x also okay it's meter so equals 2 into 4x equals 8x 8x meter 8x meter okay so walk around the walk around the plot walk around the plot is 1 kilometer so by the question by the by the questions we can write 8x equals 8x equals 1 kilometer okay so 8x equals 1000 meter so x equals 1000 divided by 8 meter equals 1 to 5 meter okay so therefore breadth of the rectangular plot equals 125 meter and length of the length of the rectangular plot equals 3 times of 1 to 5 equals 375 meter okay answer is answer is 125 meter and 375 meter okay it's very easy it's really very very easy questions every single questions here are very very easy I think okay and after all question I will uh, upload a CQ problem for you okay and I think all of you will try to solve it if you can it's okay if you don't I will I will solve every single problem okay don't don't think like that okay this hard problem sir we have given but we can't solve it every single problem I will solve in the class I will explain in the class every single problems of exercise every single problems of what i uploaded cq or whatever but you have to follow the class just only you have to follow the class 
and I think you can you can solve every single problem the exam okay just you have to follow the class okay very good Maria Maktar you got 70 out of 70 it's really good wonderful okay congratulations to people who got 70 out of 70 yeah it's really good mm. okay if all of you finish your writing I can go to next problem just try to finish quickly okay just try to finish your writing quickly and after that I will go to next problem okay Sir finished very good. Okay, sir. I'm HW Kora Shomoy Shobgula Shobgula Parsi, sir. Except 17 number. Okay, that's really good. Wonderful. Nazrul uh, Ashraful Islam. Okay, Nazrul Islam ID you are using as a Ashraful. Okay, Chamishaka done. Okay, so I'm erasing it and I'm going to next problem. number 12 number 12 number 12 what it is number 12 what is the cost of fencing around 100 meter long and 50 meter breadth okay uh, uh, 50 wide rectangular park at rate 100 taka per meter okay it's also very easy every single problem is very busy okay but some of our student uh, don't feel easy that is why I am doing every single math here okay so that is our rectangular plot 100 meter long and 40 meter 100 meter long and uh, 50 meter wide okay 50 meter breadth 50 meter breadth okay so given given okay length of the length of the rectangular uh, rectangular plot right like rectangular garden park okay rectangular park equals 100 meter okay and breadth of the breadth of the rectangular park equals 50 meter okay so it's fencing we need to find out fencing cost so fencing must be it it should be perimeter okay so perimeter perimeter of the garden equal 2 into 100 plus 50 okay equals 2 into 150 meter so what it is it is 300 meter okay so one meter fencing cost is 100 taka one one meter okay one meter one meter fencing cost equals 100 taka okay so 300 meter 300 meter fencing cost equal 100 into 300 okay so it is 30,000 I think 30,000 taka answer is 30,000 answer is 30,000 taka okay answer is 30,000 taka answer is 30,000 taka okay write your comments and try to copy quickly okay try to copy it quickly okay walaikum salam That's really good. 
ओके ओके इफ यू इफ यू फिनिश योर राइट फिनिश योर राइटिंग जस्ट टेल मी सर आई हैव फिनिश्ड ओके एंड आई नो सम ऑफ यू सम ऑफ यू आई थिंक मैक्सिमम 50 और 60 स्टूडेंट डिड योर होमवर्क सो आई गेस ए 50 स्टूडेंट ऑलरेडी डन ओके डन सर वेरी गुड सो आई एम गोइंग टू नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम ओके आई एम गोइंग टू नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम नंबर 13 Three of thirteen, thirteen. The base and height of a parallelogram is forty meter, fifty meter. Okay, determine the area of the parallelogram. So fourteen number is very easy, I think. Fourteen number is very easy. Fourteen number is very easy. Just you have to write base of the parallelogram, base of the parallelogram. Base of the parallelogram is forty, right? Yes, thirteen number thirteen. Base of the parallelogram is uh, forty meter, forty meter, and height of the parallelogram, height of the parallelogram equals fifty meter. And I'm not. We know that what is the area of the area of the parallelogram parallelo. Equals fourteen to fourteen to fifty, so it is two thousand square meter. Okay, two thousand square meter. Answer is answer is two thousand square meter. Okay, answer is two thousand square meter. Okay, already you told me this one is finished. That is why I am erasing. Okay. So I am going to next one. Fourteen number, number fourteen, number fourteen. What is it? Every single problem is just only multiplications. Okay, you, you have to just multiply. You have to just multiply. Okay, number fourteen. The length of one edge of a cube is four meter. Determine the total surface area. Okay, fourteen number. This is one cube here. Okay. Cube. This one is cube. Okay. This one is cube. So you have to just. Um, okay. So one is is four meter. You have to determine what is the total surface area of the. Okay. Given. One side. Of the cube equals four meter. Okay, so total surface area of the cube equals six into four square. Okay, so six into sixteen equals ninety-six square meter. Okay, so answer is ninety-six square meter. Very simple. Okay, so number fifteen. Number number fifteen. What it is? What it is? Do say produce five kg, five hundred kg. Okay, five hundred five hundred kg, seven hundred gram of productions in a piece of land. So how much potatoes will be? Produce in eleven piece of land. Okay, so in one p p i e c e piece of land. In one piece of land, uh, potatoes productions potato potatoes production is equal. Okay, is equal five. Hundred, five hundred kg, seven hundred gram. Okay, so in eleven piece of land, eleven piece of land, 
potatoes productions equal okay just you need to multiply so 500 kg 700 gram into 11 okay so what it is if you multiply 500 so it is 5500 kg plus if you multiply this one 77 zero zero gram okay so look at that here 7700 that means 7700 so we can add 5500 kg plus 7 kg plus 700 gram okay so we can write 5507 kg 700 gram okay so we can write 55 5 so 5000 we know that 1000 kg equals 1 metric ton so we can write 5 metric ton metric ton okay 507 kg 7 kg and 700 gram okay answer is 5 metric ton 507 kg and 700 gram okay that is our answer Okay, write your comment box, uh, what about you? Uh -huh. Okay. The dance are very good, very good. Okay. Do it with me. Okay, all of you, just continue with me. I think we can solve all problems in the class, okay? It's not very difficult. So I am removing this one. Okay. So number 16. Number 16, 28 metric tons of paddy was produced in uh, uh, for a 16 acre land what is the production of peri per acre okay 28 metric ton so 16 acre of land okay in 16 number in 16 acres of land okay uh, what production uh, peri production okay see in 60 acres of land peri production is 16 uh, 28 metric ton 28 metric ton okay so in one acre of land paddy production equals 28 28 divided by 16 metric ton okay so we need to divide uh, we can divide separately it's also okay okay so here um, 28 divided by 16 so 28 it's uh, 1 I think so it is 16 okay so here 2 here is 1 I'm giving point here so it is 0 so how many times I think uh, 6 times of 16 is 96 7 times of 16 is 112 right 7 times of 16 is 112 so it is 8 here uh, and 0 again so it is 5 okay so 5 times of 16 is 80 so here 1.75 metric ton metric 
return or we can write or we can write one one metric ton plus 0.75 into 1000 kg right one metric ton equals 1000 kg so we can write one metric ton and 0 0.75 into 1000 equals 750 so 750 kg so what is it it is 1000 one metric ton 750 kg so answer is answer is one metric ton 750 kg 750 Okay. It's very simple question, I think. Very simple question. Just you need to multiply. So up to 16 finished. So we are doing 17 number. Now, what about your comments? Everything is okay. Uh -huh. Okay, dancer, dancer, very good. Okay. Mm uh hmm. -huh. okay very good so I'm going to next one number 17 if you finish your writing just write in the comment box okay all of you finished or not sir finished okay done sir very good okay so I am going to number 17 okay one student told me 17 number has problem so now I am going to solve number 17, okay? No one can tell me, sir, this one you didn't do in the class. So every single problem I am doing in the class, every single problem. So I think you, um, you don't have any kinds of okay, panic of any problem. Okay, number 17, in a steel mill, okay, 2 lakhs metric tons of rod is production, produced in a month. Okay, so what is the output of the meal per day? Okay, so directly we can write number 17. Okay, in 30 days. Directly you can write 30 days means, I mean one month. Okay, in 30 days, uh, production is 2 lakhs metric ton. 2 lakhs metric ton okay two lakhs metric ton so in one day production equal two lakhs metric ton divided by 30 okay metric ton so zero zero gone so here four zeros and divided by three so it is how we can do it just look at the board so 20 it is 6 so it is 18 here so 2 another 0 here so it is 6 so 18 2 1 0 so it is 6 again so it is 18 2 and last 0 so it is 6 again so it is 18 and 2 okay so So look at that what is 2 2 is 2 metric ton so this one this one is 6 6 uh, 4 6 6 666 metric ton and remaining number is 2 metric ton so we know 2 metric tons means 2000 kg okay so again we are dividing this one so 2 metric ton remainder we can write remainder is 2 metric ton remainder equals 2 metric ton 2 metric ton equals 2 into 1000 kg equals what 2000 kg okay again you can divide by 3 so um, so 3 directly you can just divide 2000 okay 2000 divided by 3 equals uh, 6 here 
18 so 2 here 0 it is 6 it is 18 so here 2 another 0 here 6 here so 18 so here is 2 kg remaining and here is 666 kg okay and again again we are writing 2 kg remaining uh, or again again remainder is 2 kg okay equals 2000 gram okay so 2000 gram divided by 3 200 is 6 here okay so 18 divided by 2 10 it is 6 18 again so 2 last 0 it is 6 okay so we can write equal 600 66 666 and 2 divided by, sorry so 2 divided by 3 gram okay so what is the answer answer is 60 this metric ton metric ton in one in one day in one day production is 6666 metric ton 666 kg 666 2 uh, 2 divided by 3 gram okay so answer is answer is 666 metric ton metric ton okay and 666 kg and 666 whole 2 by 3 gram okay that is our required answer okay i think who uh, a student who has problem in number 17 already you are clear okay so number 17 done okay so let's see your comments what are you thinking Sir, so it may tick tones lick licky hobe. Nare baba, I take to they convert it to kg and then a gram. It's also okay, no problem. So, why you are writing six point? So, what does it mean? The four tuple six point six metric ton. What does it mean? Point six metric tons means how many kgs? So, you need to convert it, okay? Zarif Samin from 7b5 Nabir Muli that's also my question okay okay so you have to write this way I think these kinds of questions won't come in the exam if it comes you have to write this way okay okay so Paris are easy okay Anand that's good okay Runa Laila yes now it is clear that's good wonderful dancer yato kosto na kore yato likli to hoi if uh, if uh, these problems is like that way, you have to solve. You have to find out this uh, metric ton, then kg, then gram. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Shit. I. Sir done. Okay. Sir Bucci. That's good. Sir exam. Jokon sheshoy sheshoy jai. Then ami. Yeah, show practice coach. That's really good. Wonderful. Okay. Very good. Very good. Gram cano call an hour. Call them. Okay. So I'm going to next one. Number 18. Number 18, what it is? A merchant sells 20 kg 400 gram of lentils. Lentils per day on average how many lentils does it sell in each month okay so you just need to multiply simple question so every single question is very simple okay normally these kinds of questions ask in the mcq okay and um, and i think next exam will be on mcq questions so you have to you have to memorize you have to memorize every single information of this chapter this chapter is very very important okay Number 18, 20 kg, 400 gram, okay? Lentils per day. So, number 18, 
ओके वन डे प्रोडक्शन वन डे प्रोडक्शन वन डे व्हाट इट इज प्रोडक्शन नंबर एटीन ए मार्च एंड सेल्स ओके वन डे सेल्स नॉट प्रोडक्शन वन डे सेल इज ट्वेंटी के जी फोर हंड्रेड ग्राम ओके फोर हंड्रेड ग्राम सो थर्टी डेज सेल इज इक्वल ट्वेंटी के जी फोर हंड्रेड ग्राम इंटू थर्टी ओके सो दिस ओके सो इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई थर्टी इंटू ट्वेंटी सो इट इज सिक्स हंड्रेड के जी ओके एंड थर्टी प्लस थर्टी इंटू फोर सो इट इज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड ग्राम सो ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड ग्राम मीन्स ट्वेल्व के जी सो सिक्स हंड्रेड के जी प्लस ट्वेल्व के जी ट्वेल्व के जी सो इट इज सिक्स हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व के जी आंसर इज सिक्स हंड्रेड सिक्स हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व के जी ओके आंसर इज सिक्स हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व के जी नंबर एटीन नंबर ट्वेंटी ओके नंबर ट्वेंटी सॉरी नंबर नाइनटीन नंबर नाइनटीन व्हाट इट इज नंबर नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी के जी एट हंड्रेड फिफ्टी ग्राम ऑफ मास्टर्ड इज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन पीच ऑफ लैंड सो व्हाट विल द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ मास्टर्ड बी इन सेवन सिमिलर इक्वल पीच ऑफ लैंड ओके सो ट्वेंटी के जी एट हंड्रेड फिफ्टी ग्राम इन वन लैंड ट्वेंटी के जी एट हंड्रेड फिफ्टी ग्राम इन वन इन वन पीच ऑफ लैंड पीच ऑफ लैंड ओके पीच ऑफ लैंड ओके प्रोडक्शन प्रोडक्शन इज ट्वेंटी के जी एट हंड्रेड फिफ्टी ग्राम ओके सो इन हा मेनी सेवन राइट सेवेन पीच ऑफ लैंड आई थिंक है सेवेन सिमिलर पीच ऑफ लैंड सेवेन पीच ऑफ लैंड production equal so you need to multiply just only 7 850 g into 7 okay so if you multiply so it is uh, 14 140 kg if you multiply this one 700 okay 7 into 5 35 we have 3 okay um, 56 and 359 50 Nine gram. So look at that, five thousand nine hundred fifty. So we can write one forty plus five kg, kg, and here nine hundred fifty gram, nine hundred fifty gram. Okay, so one hundred forty five kg, nine hundred fifty gram. Answer is one forty five kg. 950 gram. That's it. So let's see your comments. What is it? Rukaiya Binte Muhammad is watching. That's good. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Ten minutes left. Okay, I will I will continue class up to twelve o'clock. Okay. Number nineteen one 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 hundred forty five kg nine fifty gram. Yes. Okay. Dancer, very good. Okay. Okay. So let's start next one. Next one is twenty. Okay. I have given up to twenty two. Okay, so if we can do up to twenty two, it's good. Nineteen, nineteen, twenty number, number twenty. Okay, volume of a mug is such a uh, is fifteen hundred cubic centimeter. How many mugs of water will be um, will be 
they are in 270 liters of water so 1 liters of water number 20 1 liter 1 liter equals 1000 1000 cubic centimeter okay so 270 liter liters equal 1000 into 270 okay cubic centimeter so it is 270 four zeros okay for this cubic cubic centimeter okay so one mark equal 1500 1500 cubic centimeter okay or we can write sorry we can write this sentence again i'm erasing this part okay we can write now 1500 cubic centimeter equals one mug okay one cubic centimeter equals one divided by 1500 okay and two seven zero zero cubic centimeter equals one into two seven zero zero four zeros divided by fifteen hundred okay two zeros gone and we have to divide two seven two zeros divided by fifteen okay two seven zero zero what it is it is one here so fifteen here 2 is 1 0 okay 120 so how many times 120 is 6 times of 15 is 90 7 times of 15 is 105 and 8 times of 8 8 times of 15 is 120 okay so this 0 go there okay so 180 marks answer is 180 marks okay answer is 180 marks okay okay so it much much delay okay later you can write baba okay uh, up to up to night what is up to night i'm telling the torture to roost Again, you are starting talking some other topic, okay? Anand, don't talk, Baba. Sir, Rath Barata Clocker Poor, uh, don't talk class, key class. Don't talk class, Koraben, key don't talk class, Koraben, good lamna. Okay, Amar Shokalta Matihoe Gesilo. Dancer, very good, very good. Okay, understood wonderful okay so 21 22 okay we have enough time so we are going to do 21 now okay a merchant sells 18 kg 300 grams of rice and 5 kg 750 grams of salt each day on an average how much rice and salt does he sell per month okay so first rice is 700 uh, 18 kg 300 gram all right, 18 kg 300. I'm erasing. It's okay for you if I erase? Okay, so look at that. Number 21. Okay, number 21. He sells in a day 18 kg, 18 kg 300 gram. So in one day sell, in one day, Sale is 18 kg, 18 kg 300 gram. So in 30 days, in 30 days, sell equal 18 kg 300 gram into 30. Okay, no student can tell me that sir this problem you didn't solve in the class every single problem i'm trying to solve in the class trying to explain if you have questions you can ask me 
I will try to explain it again. No problem. Okay, this problem is really easy. But these types of problems will come in the exam as a CQ, as a MCQ. Okay, just just keep in your mind. Okay, what I am telling to you, these type of problems. Okay, when you convert these types of problems into CQ, it it makes little bit difficult for you. Okay. I will give you some examples or some simple CQs to you, okay, for solving. And after that, I will solve and explain it, okay. And this type of CQ you have to practice at your home, okay. So, okay, multiply it. 3 times of 18 is uh, 54, and 0 here, 540 kg. And 3 times of 3 is 9, and 3 zeros, 0, 0 gram, okay. So here 540 kg plus is 9000 gram. That means 9000 grams. 9000 gram. That means 9 kg. Okay. So what is the answer? The answer is. Okay. So what is the answer? The answer is 549 kg rice okay this is the rice amount and salt amount what is the salt amount another amount we have given salt is 5 kg 750 gram of salt each day 5 kg 750 okay so 500 uh, 5 kg 750 gram okay again again in one day okay cell is 5 kg 750 gram 750 gram of salt here you can write of rice okay so in 30 days cell is equal 5 kg 750 gram into 30 okay so if we multiply 5 into 3 is 15 150 kg and 3 into 3 into 5 is 15 here we have 1 3 into 7 is 21 and 1 22 and two zeros okay so what it is 150 and here 22,000 that means plus 22 kg 22 kg and here 500 uh, yes 500 gram 500 gram so what is it so 50 and 22 50 and 22 what is 170 172 kg 500 gram everything is okay write in the comment box all of you okay ha, 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 ha. yeah I think everything is okay so number 12 Last one, Mohit Roman Moddo. Now, okay, dancer. Okay, yes, sir, everything is okay, very good. Okay, I think uh, tomorrow and day after tomorrow, if we take class tomorrow and day after tomorrow, I think whole chapter will be finished, inshallah. Okay, and after that, uh, next, tomorrow is Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday, I will upload a CK sheet for you and you have to solve all CQ problems and you have to submit it okay and after that this pro this chapters will be finished inshallah okay mm -hmm. dancer nudar aptai dancer very good okay shams for your dancer okay okay sir very good i think okay so let's start number 22 okay number 22 number okay 
नंबर ट्वेंटी टू सो नंबर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी टू व्हाट इट इज ए फैमिली रिक्वायर्ड वन पॉइंट टू फाइव लीटर्स ऑफ मिल्क डेली ओके इफ द प्राइस ऑफ प्राइस ऑफ लीटर्स ऑफ मिल्क इज फिफ्टी टू टका हा मच डाज फैमिली स्पेंड फॉर मिल्क इन थर्टी डेज वन पॉइंट टू फाइव डेली ओके सो इन वन डे इन वन डे रिक्वेड मिल्क इज वन पॉइंट टू फाइव राइट वन पॉइंट टू फाइव लीटर वन पॉइंट टू फाइव लीटर्स ओके सो इन थर्टी डेज इन थर्टी डेज रिक्वायर्ड मिल्क इक्वल ओके वन पॉइंट टू फाइव इंटू थर्टी लीटर्स इक्वल्स वाट इट इज थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ फाइव इज फिफ्टीन वी हैव वन थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ टू सिक्स एंड वन सेवन ओके एंड थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ वन इज थ्री is zero here so 1 2 2 position left is 37.5 liters liters of milk they need per month okay and every single liter cost is 52 taka right 52 taka every single liter costing is 52 taka so how much money they have to spend for the milk okay so each liter वन लीटर कॉस्टिंग वन लीटर वन लीटर ऑफ मिल्क कॉस्टिंग इज फिफ्टी टू टाका ओके सो थर्टी सेवेन पॉइंट थर्टी सेवेन पॉइंट फाइव लीटर्स ऑफ मिल्क लीटर्स of milk costing equals 52 or 37.5 into 52 taka okay if you multiply it will come 1950 that's amount will come okay 19500 and and before one one positions point here so we need to point here okay so it is 1950 taka okay answer is 1950 okay 1950 okay so after up to 22 it is finished 22 20 uh, 22 is finished so from tomorrow we will start 23 and i will try to solve up to um, which an i don't know okay so you have no homework okay well, how many uh, problems you can do at your home it's okay i did up with you no problem but try to do it okay okay it is 54 minutes i will finish it um, within 2 or 3 minutes okay Okay thank you so much for attending the class I tried uh, most of you student who uh, have very good categories okay you did well and you submitted well that's really good wonderful and regularly you have to attend the class now uh, I think in my class today is up to 95 student attending this maximum okay so uh, you have to tell your friend you have to tell uh, some other student who don't attending the class they have to attend the class okay we have 317 student 317 student we have okay all together and last exam you have attended 271 so at least 200 student regularly attended the class this class only for you only for your benefits okay not for us okay this class we are arranging we are explaining we are trying to uh, arrange different kinds of materials and everything because this online classes need some other materials not only uh, not based only us okay some instruments also so we everything we are arranging our institutions our old teachers and everyone trying our level best to do 
okay uh, uh, and they are trying to develop your basics and everything so you have to attend the class this is your right you have to take your right okay this is your right the, this is your uh, actually uh, only for you we are everything we are doing based on you only for you so you have to take it if you attend just only um, 100 student or just only 90 student i think this is uh, this is not uh, enough uh, i think okay so you have to tell your friend you have to just invite you have to tell uh, everyone just come to the class and participate the class you can gather your basic you can improve your basic okay so i hope next class i mean tomorrow class i i want to see at least 150 student in my class okay uh, uh, I, I hope all of you will uh, try to best to take your all other friends in the class okay and uh, and um, yeah of course you will you will do study and already you understood what level you have and what kind of uh, uh, what level of performance you did in last exam okay so you have to try you have to try for yourself not for us not for your parents okay everything you are doing for yourself your basics is developing okay and who didn't do uh, well in the exam last exam uh, we are really sorry for you because uh, i think i think we we couldn't re we couldn't reach to you okay so all the time our efforts only for you to reach uh, to you to develop you okay so you you just cordial you just coordinate with us okay sir how can i can i can develop how i can develop my uh, some uh, some of you already ask me their problems sir uh, what kind of problems i had in that problem particular problem because i got zero so what kind of problems there if you tell me i will try to improve next time i told them these kinds of problems occur okay just one or two problems i am showing you within one minute look at that Okay, some student, some student. Okay, look at that. One problem, so you have given 120 degree. The picture should be look like that. Okay, this is the base. Okay, you have to draw here. Um, you have to take, I think, one line we have given. Okay, first you have to cut this line. And you have to draw here, uh, I think it was 30 degree. 30 degree here you have to draw 30 degree here okay 30 degree here and after that you have to draw uh, 120 degree so look at that this student drawn this student drawn this uh, 120 degree this way so this line this point this point not even coincide not even meet each other but uh, she has drawn 120 degree here how she got marks okay so you have to understand how this angle formed so th this way how you will get marks okay so you have to understand that these problems maybe will come again in the uh, annual exam okay so you have to understand your problem what problem uh, especially student who got 66 one problems you got a zero so i know at least 10 student uh, why they got zero uh, for one one problem just only one problem okay so you have to careful those kinds of problems okay the angle should be look like that look like that look like that okay and look like that i think okay this way and don't think like that if you draw just only this picture and we will give you marks we won't give you marks uh, especially for me okay and uh, most of the copies i have uh, i have seen okay just only one or two sections i think uh, or another uh, teacher i've seen there okay thank you so much all of you I'll see you in the next class okay okay assalamu alaikum